Hi friends, I have a really fun total body crusher, 45 minutes long, or this can be done as a five minute class for each day of the week. Five exercises, one minute each, 10 seconds to transition. Squat, side stretch, go. Sit in your imaginary chair, reach up and over to the side. That's the pattern for one full minute. Remember to sit back into your heels, hips behind knees, and then really challenge that side bend stretch. Get deeper and deeper as you get warmed up. You can bring your hands to the ground, maybe full palm if you're quite flexible, or elbows to knees. Listen to your body and let's go. Halfway there here. Find a nice pace and rhythm. You don't have to stay at my pace. These are timed drills, so you work at your level and your speed. Hang in there, last few seconds. And 10 seconds to get to one corner of your mat for skaters. You're gonna travel laterally, stepping across, and then curtsy behind. Go, step, curtsy. So you have options here to just step across the mat, maybe not even touch the ground, or you can jump across your mat to make this a little bit more cardio intensive. Up to you, but push yourself. If you're doing these five minutes daily classes, I want you to work hard. You can always repeat the circuit as well. Flat back, braced belly. Draw the belly towards the spine. It'll naturally turn on as you start to move. But try not to round the back. So we wanna keep a nice flat back, even if you're touching the ground. and nice work we have four fast knees each side so we'll take one side and then we'll switch over to the other side remember to find your own pace go four three two and one arms can be up pulling down touching your quad and try to get that knee nice and high so you're recruiting some core strength to lift of course the hip flexors as well the higher you get those arms pulling up and down, the higher your heart rate is gonna be. And of course, you can go for speed too here. Keep breathing, keep pushing, halfway there. Awesome job. We have jumping jacks next. It's a crisscross jack. If you don't wanna jump, you can always tap out to the side. And go. So here's your modification. If you're not jumping today, you can side tap. Otherwise, you'll do a crisscross jumping jack. Cross one arm and leg over and then switch, incorporating those adductors, inner thighs and chest and then just keep pushing. Try to find a nice pace, maybe some fast, some slow, and some with the jump and some with a side tap. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. Try not to stop for the full minute. You only have one exercise to go in this cardio circuit. and break toy soldiers you're going to try to touch fingers to toes up high into a burpee jump back three two one here's a toy soldier toe tap up high you can bend the knees if you need to 
and then you're going to try to jump plank jump in and up if you don't want to jump back to plank for some reason you're not ready for that keep doing the toy soldiers just tapping up high you can skip the jump back if needed you can also just touch the ground tap down and jump up or reach down and stand up so make it work for your body there's that option or you're going to do that jump back whatever you're doing you are pushing yourself knowing if you're only doing this little five minute class today knowing you worked as hard as you could if you're sticking out the rest of the class with me we have a long ways to go but you can do it hang in there stay strong 10 seconds awesome job if you are leaving us now we'll see you tomorrow for the core focused circuit if you're sticking around take a 30 seconds of recovery and come down on your hands and knees for bird dog you're going to tuck knee to chest or knee to elbow for two and then switch so come on down to kneeling and give your wrists a little bit of love you can circle them out with a bind both directions blink the fingers circle swing the arms out and then come into all fours spread your fingers grip into your fingers index finger forward crease of the elbow forward here we go opposite leg and arm tuck in for two and switch tuck extend tuck extend find a nice pattern that works for you nice pace and really think of compression hugging the knee into the chest and also length lengthening the arm and leg as far away in opposition the core will be on for stability and you'll also be warming up and strengthening so this is our core circuit again one minute each exercise 10 seconds transition time keep it up we're not just going through motion we're trying to actively engage imagine you're underwater and you're really focused on pulling and pushing great work come to standing quickly for a plie or goddess side bend for four elbow to knee for four sit deep in a plie here we go side to side for four maybe elbow to knee and then stand and twist elbow to knee high plie elbow to knee side bend lateral stretch and then come onto the feet elbow to knee standing think of standing abs oblique side body here and you'll feel those legs too and then come on up elbow to knee standing nice and tall not pulling on the neck get as deep as you can on your plie side bends and then really twist that trunk as you exhale each one keep it up two and one quickly come on to your back we're going to do a sit up and a leg drop when you're on your back, you're going to ground down through the low back. Sit up tall. Here we go. Roll down the spine. Exhale. Momentum. Roll up the spine. Roll down. Now legs drop and lift. Roll up and down. I'm going to start to add two in a row. So two sit ups and two leg lowers. Ground down through that low back. Don't let the back pop off the mat. Two sit ups tuck your chin. You could throw your arms into it. That's fine. And then two leg lowers only as low as you can maintain the form and it does not bother the back two sit-ups two leg drops keep it up stay nice and strong
Great job. Stay on your back. We're going to go into bicycles, also known as crisscross in Pilates, twisting elbow to knee. Try and keep the shoulders lifted. Go. Twist, twist. So the leg that's extending is stretching and we're twisting through the trunk, hitting those obliques. Elbow to knee if you can. Do not pull on the neck here. Exhale each one. Little variation, you could try to extend your arms and touch your toes, just to vary it up a little bit. Right here, I'm showing you that version. That opposite hand can give a little support to the neck. Try and keep the chin curled forward so the neck is not involved. You can also put those feet down if your hip flexors are starting to bother you and it's getting too challenging. Just plant the feet down and keep trying to crunch corner to corner. Fight through this. I know it's hard to do for a minute. You can do it. You're there. and rest. Quick flip over, come onto your forearms and your belly. We're gonna press up to forearm plank for one full minute. Go. Tuck your tailbone, separate your shoulder blades, and just stay nice and strong in the core. You can add some movement just to take the time up. So we'll rock back and forth called saw, forward, back, forward, back, balls of the feet to tiptoes. You can also be in stillness if that works better for you. Here's another fun option, little knee taps to the ground. These fun movements, just add a little bit of instability and take your mind off the work. Rainbow hips up and over, maybe tapping the ground, up and over, tap down, dip and lift. Keep protracting your shoulders, push the shoulders down, draw the belly in and up, now see if you can hold this last part, all out effort, squeeze everything, quads on, belly on, fire and rest. That was your core circuit. Moving on to our leg circuit. Take any stretches you need to, to open up that belly and I'll see you tomorrow if you're leaving. Otherwise we're moving on to legs. Here you have a little bit of a longer break in between. So maybe a sip of water, towel off, you can always hit pause. Our first drill is going to be a squat, lunge, warrior three or airplane. Demoing it here. Get ready to step to the side, step back, and then fly off into a quick balance. Go. Squat, lunge 90 degree knees, push off to fly. Other leg, squat, lunge and balance fly keep that pattern alternating squat big step back lunge big float up find a moment to find your fullest expression of that airplane so you're engaging your hamstrings and glutes to fly back side of the body on keep it up Remember, you're working at your pace. If you lose balance, no big deal. Just get right back into it. Three, two, and quick break. Come on down to your back bridge work next. We're just going to simply be thrusting the hips and down and sometimes you can alternate legs. Here we go. Up and down. I want you to focus on pushing your feet down into the mat and squeezing your hamstrings and glutes upward towards the sky. Really engage this. Again, not going through the motion, but really creating tension in the muscles. And then you have some options if you're feeling like you want to spice it up to come into single leg bridge lifts. Hugging one knee into the chest as you push off the other feet. And you can alternate maybe four of each, come up with a fun pattern.
Keep it up. Last 10 seconds here. Squeeze the booty at the top. And rest. Come on to tabletop. Quickly flip over. Left hand grabs right wrist. Donkey extension kick to the back and to the side. Go. Back kick, side kick. Back kick, side kick. Straighten out the leg as far as you can up and to the side and really engage the shoulders and core so you're in a nice supportive table. You have your left elbow down, wrapping your hand around your right wrist. That gives you a little bit more range of motion so you can open up that side kick. Only a couple seconds, we're gonna switch. All right, so grab your left wrist with your right hand. Try not to lose any time, just go. Kick back, kick side. Squeeze the booty and hamstrings and then feel your abductors and your obliques kick on to the side. Squeeze, keep it up. Imagine you're pressing through water, active resistance. Tension in the muscles, you are almost there. Another quick transition, come onto your side. You're gonna take your bottom leg and kick up for inner thigh work, go. Kick up, toes to fingers, four, three, two, one option to press onto your hand and do the same thing. If that doesn't feel right for you, stay here, down on the hip the whole time. You can stay here or you can add a little hip lift, same thing, or forearm lift if your wrists are bothering you. Couple options there. Hips can stay down, all inner thigh here, squeeze, or hips can elevate. All right, quick switch to the other side. Again, inner thighs, fingers to toes, press off your hand, push your shoulder down, keep those inner thighs lifting and lowering. So the three options are down on your hip, onto your forearm with a, your hip lifted or your hand with your hip lifted, as long as you keep lifting that leg. Adductors, inner thigh and break. Last one, kneel to stand, watching down like this to standing split and then up to the feet. Go, crouch down, kneel, kick up, standing split, back to kneel and then drive up to that front leg. Kneel, standing split, extend that leg wherever it can make it. Kneel and then drive up. That front leg is taking most of the weight so you don't have a lot of weight on the top of the foot, right? Lift, tuck your toes, kneel, standing split, kick up, squeeze, kneel, drive up through that front leg. Keep it going, lots of strong leg work here, core is on, arms are really wherever they naturally wanna go. You can hug them in, bring them down, and then maybe they go up as you lift up. Find a nice pace. This is your last leg exercise. We move on to arms. break. Thanks so much. If you are doing arms tomorrow, we'll see you then. Otherwise, take your quick recovery rest. We're going to press our arms up to the side and behind you. Up, side, and back. So it looks simple, but you're going to feel this after a minute, especially if you are using your own tension to really press. Shake out, blink out the fingers, get ready, go. Press up, press side, press back, like you mean it. I want tension in those muscles. Up, out, behind you. Shoulder press to the side, and then triceps kick on to the back. Oh, I had a B, forgot about this part. Keep it going, up, nothing ever happened, side and back. <laughs> I'm really scared of Bs. I had to make a quick run for it. Keep it going. Hopefully that made you smile. Keep going up, side, back. You can walk around, you can rock on those feet if that helps you get through it. You can also take a little forward fold halfway for the triceps. 
a little good morning as you kick back, maybe fold halfway. Nice hamstring stretch as well. Next one's gonna be harder. 10 seconds to get down into push-up position. Feel free to stay on the knees for one push-up, one side plank, or off the knees, more advanced. Here we go, one push-up, kickstand one leg out, and side plank. Push-up, kickstand the leg, 45 degrees out, rotate the hips and shoulders to stack. One push-up, one side plank, Maybe you're doing them on the knee like this, or I'll show you more advanced, is on those toes. One push up, open up to side plank, stacking everything. You can take your time. Elbows are gonna go out about 45 degrees for your best form push up, using your chest and your triceps. Keep it up and don't be afraid to come down on those knees and then try to come off the knees again. Perfect, quick flip over for tricep dips. Come to seated. Your fingers can be either forward or a little bit out to the sides is a little bit more comfortable for those wrists. So bend the elbows back and thrust up, you're on the clock. So this is gonna feel like a long one. Do the best you can. And of course, if you need to come out of it for a moment, you can, and then get right back in. Your own pace, bend the elbows, and then squeeze the hamstrings and glutes upward for a little reverse table as you straighten the arms and squeeze the triceps. Keep it up. So these are gonna feel hard. Here's a little modification. You could try to lower to forearms, lift to hands with your butt down if you need a little rest there, and then come back into those tricep dips. If you can, just keep pressing whatever work is possible for you, and you'll get stronger and stronger as you continue to exercise and push your body. You'll surprise yourself. Break. Quickly flipping over onto your hands and knees. You're gonna take down dog push-ups and I'll start with the modification of the knees down. Go, bringing your head towards the mat and pushing away. It's like an upside down shoulder press. Here's the crouched version position with your knees bent or you can come onto your tiptoes in down dog and keep bringing the top of the head towards the mat. So the modification would be to stay nice and low on those knees, still bringing the top of the head down towards the floor. When you need a little break, you can push away and then just take a moment. Maybe your hands come to your quads, you shake out your wrists and then get right back in it. You can start down on the knees and maybe continue to power up off the knees. And as your hamstrings open up, straight leg, straighter legs downward facing dog push-ups. Do the best you can. Your elbows are going out to the side. Again, maybe 45 degrees and you're just fighting through that shoulder work. Last one, quickly come onto your side body, side laying, top arm tricep push away, bottom forearm hip lift. You might need to practice this one. Top arm pushes, bottom forearm takes over, hip lift. So you crawl top arm, bottom forearm, hip lift, top arm lowers you down. It looks pretty innocent, but you'll feel that top tricep like crazy. Push away for elbow under shoulder, hip thrust, hand down, lower to your side. Just a few more here because we're quickly switching sides. Here we go. Top arm is your tricep push. Bottom forearm takes over and we lift and lower the hips. You can repeat this one if this is your first time and you're just getting to know the drill. Triceps and then shoulders or maybe onto your hand, forearm or hand there. Top arm pushes, bottom elbow takes over. Lower down, feel that tricep working. Top arm, bottom forearm, slow lower. All right, that was your arm circuit. 
Thanks for working out with me if you are heading out. I'll see you tomorrow for total body. Otherwise, we're moving on to the first exercise of our total body circuit, mountain climbers. Take time to circle out those arms, wrists, any quick stretches you wanna do. This is our 30 second break in between circuits. Come on down when you're ready. Spread your fingers wide, your index fingers forward. You press into your fingertips and your knuckles, which will protect your wrists. Go. Slow knees to fast knees. So I'm doing four slow, eight fast. You can pick your own pattern. You can come down to the knees at any point if you need to, or maybe you're gonna just push through fast mountain climbers for the whole rest of the minute. Up to you. You're working as hard as you can here it's five exercises total body one minute each 10 seconds to get you to the next one here's a little modification you could do kneeling knee tucks if you need to come off of those toes otherwise keep going fight for it 10 seconds to go Find focus, strength, dig deep. Three, two, one. Stand up on one side of your mat for a lateral lunge into a knee to elbow. Here we go. Step across the mat and then elbow knee. Hold 30 seconds on this leg. Sit back in your chair and then twist. You're bending into the knee that you're landing and pushing off of. The other leg stays pretty straight. Make it explosive as you push off elbow knee. Maybe you hold that for just a second. So you have to turn that core on to squeeze. Other side. Lunge, side lunge to twist. your own pace, just keep pushing. Awesome job, two, one. Next one, plank walk, four plank jacks. Walk back in, four standing jacks. Go ahead, walk out to plank for jumping jacks, or you could just tap to the side if you're not jumping. Walk in for standing jacks. Same applies to the standing jacks. Maybe just a side tap out if you are not using momentum. Showing you here your modification, side tap. Otherwise, go for it. Walk out, hit your plank, strong core. Shoulders are pushing down and separating those shoulder blades. And then strong push press jacks at the top. Keep it up. Here's three, two, and one. We're going to kneel to stand, squat, jump. If you don't wanna come down to those knees for any reason, you're just gonna lunge and jump. Go, here's kneel, kneel, stand, squat, jump. Other leg, down, down. So you wanna be strong in your core so you're not landing heavy on your knees. Here's your modification, one lunge, squat, jump, or even just squat, stand. Make the drill work for your body. You could even just do straight lunges the whole time here. Otherwise, the drill is kneel, kneel, squat, jump. Power off those legs. These are total body moves that get your heart rate up. Keep it going, we only have one exercise here before we move on to animal. Animal.
And you did it. Flip over onto your back. One bridge, one sit up, one crab tap right and left. Go. Bridge hips up, sit up, and then press onto your hands and feet for opposite hand to toe crab tap. Or if you don't wanna lift the feet, just lift up to reverse table. One bridge, one boat sit up, one crab reach or opposite hand to toe. Again, make this work for your body. Bridge, sit up, crab tap, lifting your leg or not. option to just do the bridge to the low boat sit up or again you're adding that crab opposite toe tap or just crab hip thrusts up on the hands lots of ways to make this work if you're struggling fight through that this last few seconds and you did it Thanks for joining. If you're doing these on the daily, if you're staying, we have animal flow circuit next. Take a quick break. It's only 30 seconds, quick sip of water, some quick stretches, wrists, shoulders, hamstrings, whatever's feeling tight. And then meet me in downward facing dog. We're gonna load our beast, bend the knees, jump to plank, down dog, hand to toe tap. Set up your down dog, pedal, shake out the head, and go. Load your beast, bend the knees, jump to plank, hand to toe, right? And again, loaded beast, plank, down dog, hold. Load your beast, plank, right fingers to right toes, or you could just do loaded beast, plank, down dog. So you have options, bend the knees, plank, lower the hips, touch your opposite toes. Continue that pattern, practice it. And if it's not exactly what I'm doing, no big deal, we're just moving our body. Down dog, bend knees, jump plank, down dog, toe tap. Down dog, bend knees, jump plank, opposite hand to toes. Bend, straighten, toe tap, stay. Bend, straighten, toe tap, stay. Even I messed it up a few times. Just do the best you can to get the pattern down. Use your core, your shoulders. And quick knees down, stay in this position. We're gonna take lizard lunge and loaded beast. Option to kick through later. Lizard lunge, pop one elbow up as the leg steps outside the hand. Loaded beast, lizard lunge. Loaded beast, step outside, lift hand. Keep that, use it as a nice stretch. Here's your option to kick through from lizard lunge, back foot kicks through. If you're not quite making the kick through, you could also just take lizard lunge to a little tap in instead of kicking all the way through. So you load your beast, bend the knees, charge forward lizard, option kick through or tap in and extend back. You don't have to work as fast as I'm going or maybe you're going for speed and you are going faster. Listen to your body. Bend, lizard, kick through or tap in. All right, great work. Come to, to seated, bring those feet out in front of you we have a crab reach V sit up. One hand down, one arm up, reach over the head, hips thrust up. Crab reach, low high sit up. Crab reach the whole time, alternating crab reach. Find your flexibility and range of motion in the movement. Crab reach, arm over the head, sit, low high V up. Keep it going. Feel a nice open shoulder as you push down through the bottom arm and up through the top arm. Feel the hip flexors find a nice stretch in that crab reach. They worked hard on those first two animal flows. Spread the fingers and really engage the shoulders so you're not dumping heavy into your hands. Keep it up.
and nice job quickly come to standing we have an animal cartwheel also known as a traveling ape and you have some options here but you have lots of time to get to know it here we go you're gonna take one hand one foot you can shuffle across the mat or little animal style cartwheel where you do same hand same foot same hand same foot so just practice it more advanced you can try to get the hips up over the shoulders easier keep those feet really low and then easier still just shuffle across the mat maybe a combination of each or you're just going to find the level and keep pushing through over halfway there remember to spread the fingers engage the shoulders and get those hips up or maybe just lateral It's a fun one, but it does take some practice. So feel free to shuffle and try again, maybe. All right, next one. Our last animal flow, come into downward facing dog. You're gonna take one knee up, thread it under, and thread it over to scorpion. Looks like this, you're on the clock. Thread up, thread down, up and over, flip. Push back, other leg. Knee high, knee to the ground. Knee high, flip up, side down to a seated position and then back around. Good. Some of these will take practice if you're brand new to them. So I highly recommend repeating this circuit just to get to know the drills. So the next time you do the class, you won't waste time learning and you'll be able to push through. So we have down dog, knee to sky, thread under, knee to sky, flip over, gently landing in a seated position. Hip high, hip low, flip open, scorpion flip and land. So you're not really falling into it, you're just kind of turning your body through a side plank and landing gently. It's really fun, play with it some more if you felt lost, great job. I will see you tomorrow for our active recovery or maybe you're just gonna do it right from here. 30 seconds of rest. We're doing spinal waves, so any stretches you wanna do in between, especially if you just did that whole entire circuit in one day. Come into downward facing dog. Start to spread the fingers, bend one knee, then the other, walk your dog, sway the hips from side to side, relax the neck, hang it heavy. And here we go, rounding the spine forward with a cat back, arching the back, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, exhale, arch back. Feel free to bend the knees as you go back. Imagine you are a tidal wave in the ocean, rolling forward, using your core to go forward, maybe swing into upward facing dog, round cat back to down dog. Take your time to explore the movements, either rolling from down dog to up dog to down dog or down dog to plank to down dog. Use the breath, undulating the spine, Make it fluid and graceful and come onto the knees. Next one, thread the needle, twist into pigeon. You'll have some time to breathe into these poses. Right arm up, thread it under. Hold your twist here. You can stack your palms. Option to lift the left knee off the mat or extend the left arm behind the back. Explore and breathe. Press the top hand out of it. Thread the right knee towards the right wrist for pigeon pose. We're staying on this side the whole time. Any movements in pigeon, sleeping pigeon, or maybe active with trying to get the shoulders over the hips, gentle back bend. 
maybe lifting the back knee off and on. Let's come back to spinal twist. Press onto the knees, thread the arm through, and then come into pigeon. Slide the right knee towards the wrist and hold a breath. All right, other side, same thing. Lifting the left arm and threading it through. Go. Holding your spinal twist, stacking the shoulders, maybe stacking the hands or circling the shoulders or pressing the hand behind the back. You can straighten out that right knee. Maybe lift it. Big breath. <sighs> Coming out of it for a left knee pigeon, left knee forward towards left wrist. Maybe folding over for a restorative sleeping pigeon or propping up onto fingertips for a more active, feeling the hip flexor and quad in the back and that front hip rotating. Pop out of it, thread the needle again, hitting each shape one more time, and then popping up for pigeon, possibly bending that back knee in. Great. Moving on to camel, come on to kneeling position. We're gonna take a low heart to sky camel, high camel into a right left lunge, go. Lift the chest, now come on to the top of the knees, lift the chest. Swing the right foot forward, low lunge, and then make it narrow and pelvic tilt. Left knee stretches forward, step on the foot, low lunge, 90-90 lunge, pelvic tilt. Low camel into the fingertips, maybe lift the hips. High camel, support the neck. Step right, low lunge. 90-90 lunge, pelvic tilt. Low lunge on the left, deep, and then shallow with a pelvic tilt. Keep going, low camel, high camel. Right leg lunge. And left leg lunge. Getting attacked a little bit. <laughs> Keep it going. Breathing through the stretches. Again, you don't have to go my pace. Last one, come onto the belly. A cobra roll and a shoulder stretch scorpion flip. Come onto the belly, left hand out, right knee flips over, maybe toes to hand, hips open. Close, then press hands to chest or fingertips, cobra. Right hand out, left knee peels open, cobra in between. Work at your pace. Top knee peels open as the hand extends out. Maybe your toes reach your fingers and then a little cobra back stretch up and switch sides. Cobra, extend the arm in the direction you're gonna flip. Feel a deep shoulder stretch there. And then heart opener, cobra roll. Flip one knee towards those toes to fingers. Peel the heart open. Maybe you start to come up to upward facing dog. Scorpion flip, maybe up dog or just a big cobra lift as you gain some range of motion there. And up dog, exhale downward facing dog. Come onto the knees and sit back for a child's pose. Take some deep breaths into the back body, finding stillness or maybe some wiggles in those hips. Come up for some cat cow, round and arch the spine. Come into a forward fold, step on those feet, shake, sway, Anything you wanna do here. If you did that entire class in one day, let me know how it went. I'm proud of you. I did it too. Otherwise, maybe make that a goal to build up. Continue to do these daily until you can do the whole class at once. Thank you so much.